Welcome from an extremely cold Cape Town. It's like 12, 14 degrees and in my house there's no insulation. These old houses don't have service minus 10 more degrees. So you will excuse all these layers. I'm, I'm wrapped up in a blanket. It is cold. It is, it is extremely cold. Also in the last five days now and counting it's been storming in Cape Town. Um, so it's gloomy, it's wet, it's dark, all right, I've got lots of lights on. <laughs> it's cold. It is cold! Oh. <laughs> so cold. Anyway, so what I've been doing this month so far today is the 9th, okay? Today's the 10th. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm already down four books. So there's that. Let's get into it quickly. Just gonna tell you what I've been doing so far this month. Um, because what else do I have to do other than read? So, ta da! First book I finished is this one. <laughs> Sylvia Second Act by Elia Riablot. Loved it. I loved it. I loved it. So we have 63 year old Sylvia and she comes home to find her husband of all her life in bed with another woman and the woman is straddling her and the woman has implants and everything and everything. So of course husband says, oh, sorry, first time dealing with a lot of stuff, la 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 la. But in the meantime, it's been happening for a while. So she makes the hard decision to leave him and to move to another city because her daughter and, and stuff, they're all pushing her to go back because what is she going to do? She's 63, she has no skills, she has no money, what is she going to do? So Sylvia decides to say, wah, 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 and prove to everybody that she, you know, she can do what she needs to do. So she and her best friend, Evie, or Evie, they go to New York with nothing. They go to New York, they pull the resources, they go to New York so they can afford for like a month. And then, yeah, they go from there. It's actually a story of how they overcome the obstacles and the things that they have to deal with. But it's told wittingly, it's very tongue-in-cheek, I giggled a lot. It's, this is really, really well written. Um, the story is very, very good. I absolutely loved it. This wants to make me get up and go to somewhere where nobody knows me and start afresh with nothing. So yes, at, you know, in the golden years, what are you going to do if your husband cheats on you? You need to make your own life. So, Sylvia's second act is excellent. Love the characters, love the story. Mm, I'm giving this four and a half stars, so... Absolutely well done. Thank you to Jonathan Ball Publishers for sending me this one. Then we're on to book number two. <laughs> so I'm just going to step out of my way. And that was Upgrade by Blake Crouch. This is a proof copy um, that I got. It's from Macmillan. I got this at a tandem event a couple of years ago, yes, or something, or something, uh, yes, I think it was the second one, I don't know, but we got this one, um, I recently watched, I've read um, Dark Matter, okay, a few years ago, a few years ago, it was excellent. Um, and then I've recently watched the TV adaptation of it, and that was really good as well. I've also made a resolution in my life this year, at least, <laughs> the only one, the only one, uh, is to read more sci-fi in my life, because I'm not a sci-fi guy, 
Okay, but this is the kind of sci-fi that, that that I can get into. I'm not I'm not into rocket ships and the rocket science stuff. That's all. A thousand. Although this one is close. This is all about DNA. So you know, there's a lot of stuff there now. What we have is a guy. What is his name? Logan. And Logan works for the GPA, the Gene Protection Agency. Okay, uh, and gene splicing and experimentation, all of that stuff is illegal. So he catches the people and la 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 la. So what happens, but what the, the thing is, okay, and here we're going to get a bit spoilery, is that his mother caused a catastrophe by her experimentation, which is what led to the Gene Protection Act. So now he's the mother of, uh, the, the, the son of a woman who caused the great starvation. Uh, and so, and so, and so, and so, and so, and so, and so they're doing a raid and something explodes and pff, he gets caught in it. So it turns out that this was a trap set for him and he gets an upgrade. So he go body goes through a lot of changes, okay, and then he can he gets perfect recall. He gets he can see minute features, he can tell body language, he can uh, it's, it's funny. It's not funny, but it's really good. Now, this one is very info heavy as well. But in short pieces, I've learned to say if, if he's talking about a string of DNA, if there's like five of these number alphabet sequences, alphanumeric sequences, um, then I'll just say this string. Um, instead of reading every single one, but it's, it's fine. I mean, I, I, I don't have anything to show you uh, right now. Um, anything specific, but anyway. Um, so, he think it's taken by the same agency that he works for because he's going to change it. Uh, put in a cage and study because now, you know, he's getting an upgrade, he's been, his genetics have been modified, he's, is, he, is he still humor, homo sapiens, is he something else? Um, and then he's broken out of jail, whatever it's called, the Bavarium, and then by no one else, then, 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 then something I can't tell you. So, yeah, and then they have a connection, but then they decide that they're going to split, and there's numerous twists, but it's all DNA, ability. and then um, he has to give up his family because he's changed so much, you can't go back, and, and of course the government told them that he died. Um, so it's, 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 it's a lot. There's a lot of info about genetics in here. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Blake Crouch did a lot, a lot of research. I mean, to understand some of the things that he's writing down here, I mean, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is a thriller. It happens across a year, a year and a half or two. Um, yeah, it's actually quite good. And I can see this as a video or movie. Or TV series, well, movie. Um, yeah, the world isn't ready for the upgrade, it's sure. And 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 the thing is that, yeah, I can't tell you because it's spoiler. You just go and read this. If you haven't read this one yet, do go and do it. If you have read this one, please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, I'm giving this four stars, four stars because I loved it. Um, not as much as Dark Matter though. Okay, I enjoy Dark Matter more. Although this one is more, that one was more trippy. This one is more fast. Things happen fast, even though over a period of time. But, you know, it happens 25 days in the barbarium and, and then pff, and then a huge amount of thing happens in uh, a day and a half, uh, two days. So yeah, the pacing is excellent. It's fast paced. Um, the writing is good. It's, you know, and I don't know what to say. There's twisty. There's this. This. How many twists are in here? Not not really that many, but that's fine. That's really good. Okay. Um. As for audiobooks, I have finished. 
Um, the Empire Trilogy by uh, Remedy Feist and um, Jenny Worth on ebook with The Mistress of the Empire. It ties everything up nicely. It's awesome. I absolutely enjoyed this series. This is five stars. Um, so that's perfectly excellent. Now before we go on to what else I've read on Thingy, I do want to continue the Rift War cycle. However, I don't have all the books and not all the books are on YouTube. So I don't know if they're available on audio or if they're not just available on YouTube. Now I have a fair number of them. For example, like this one, Honored Enemy. Okay. Um, these are Legends of the Rift War. There's three books. This is book one, book two, and book three. I have book one and book two. Le Murder in Lamut. Lamut. And book three is Jimmy the Hat. I do not have that one. Okay, so those three all happen at the same time as the Rift War Saga and uh, the Empire Trilogy. Then after that, before we continue, there's another one called something else. And I only have one of those trilogies. I only have one of the trilogy. It's actually over there now. I can't get it to you. So I have book three, which doesn't help me. So um, I want to read what I have. Okay, and so on and so forth. Before I continue with what I can, the main story on audio, on YouTube, because it's there, it's in my waiting, it's in my watch later list. So, yeah. So, I'm going to find somewhere to put this in, and then I'm going to continue with what I continued, okay? So, that's just a little aside. Sorry for that. The next thing I finished on audiobook, because I needed to decide what I wanted to do, is I found this one, um, and I read the two prequels. This one was called... An unforeseen demise. <laughs> I read the prequel, um, both of them earlier this year, and then I found this on 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 YouTube, and this is the author's channel. So that's pretty cool. I'm currently on book three. I finished book one, and I finished book two. So I'm book five, five books ahead now. Um, I only finished book five because the fifth uh, book two because I'm in between reading physical books. Okay, and now um, the next time thing I'm going to go on to is this one because it's August 2024. That's next month. Um, I got this from the Bloomsbury Big Night In box of Tenon Collective and Bloomsbury Global. Uh, and these gloves. And this is the instrumentalist. By Harriet Constable. Mm -mm -mm, look how pretty that is. Love that. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get into this. This is a story about a girl named Ana Maria de la Pieta. Okay, and they are girls of the Hospital de la Pieta, or oh, Ana Maria, or whatever. So they're in a in a, um, a theater, okay. And Vivaldi and so forth and so forth. And she she, she teaches her. This is she becomes his student. I don't know. That's it. I don't know if this is a love story or if this is just historical fiction. This probably is a love story in here anyway. But anyway, that's coming next month. So I'm going to get onto this one. Yeah, so that's that. I've read five books so far. I've read two, I've listened to three. <laughs> I'm about to start on the third physical, book number six. And then what else happened is, um, I've so far, up until today, yesterday, so far to date, I got some book mail from Pan Macmillan. <laughs> by Broken Blades, by May or My Corland. <laughs> Post read. <laughs> so big. And I love the smell of new books. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you could bottle that, I swear. So, yeah. So far, that is how my July has been going. How has your July been going? Please let me know down in the comments below. Tell me if you got book mail. Tell me if you went shopping. Tell me 
what you've been reading, tell me what you haven't been reading. If you haven't been reading, tell me, tell me whatever. Tell me what you've been doing. I haven't been going anyway. It's cold and wet. And I also don't have money, but that's okay. So yeah, so that's that. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah. And I will see you in the next video. Bye from Cape Town. Mm -hmm.